Hi guys, PJ here. Today we're working on a 2007 Nissan Note. Uh, this will be a really short video because the, the stereos on these are very easy to get out. You'll notice it has dummy holes here. Now, you don't use release keys, you don't put release keys in to get this stereo out. You actually have to unbolt it. To do that, you have to remove the trim around it. I'll start doing that now and walk you through it step by step as quickly as possible. First things first, you've got a plastic trim underneath here, which you can normally ping off with your finger or put a flat blade screwdriver in the little notches. Just pop it off, wrong clips, there you go, come straight off, dead easy, put that out of the way. Up underneath here, I don't know if you can see, but you've got two uh, crosshead, two crosshead screws, two Phillips screws, one there and one there. Undo those two screws. With both your screws removed, uh, all you need to do is put your hand under the plastic piece here, the grey plastic edge. There you go, like so. And if you look at the corners, you'll see it pop both sides. There you go. Just free it up a little bit. Okay, when you've done that and you've freed up your bottom corners so it's sort of loose, yeah? Lift your little flap here. It's normally full of junk and rubbish. You're going to have to clear all that out and uh, get a little flat blade under here very carefully because you are using metal on plastic here. So put it in at an angle, yeah? And then quite literally pop and this little cover plate comes off. Do the same on the other side. Just so put your little blade in and pop. Yeah, try not to damage the plastic. And then you've got two more Phillips screws, one's each side. So we'll just take those out. Okay, and with both screws removed, yeah, there you go. All you've got to do, show you a little bit there, don't want to get it damaged, is pull it forward. So give it a bit of a, a bit of a tug. There we go. You might want to cover your gear lever over so you don't uh, slide anything down onto it and damage it. All I do is use a little poly bag, like so. Just a bit of padding just to stop everything getting damaged. Now when you're pulling this out, pay attention to the fact you're right near your stalk control here, yeah? So you're going to have to manoeuvre around it. So all the clips have come free, look. There you go. And there's also wiring connectors still built in. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull that out now. Right, so we've pulled it forward, you sort of go up and out, yeah, up and over the lever. So up and out, drop it down like so. I've got it on a foam pad there, like I say, so it doesn't damage anything. Your aerial's just a simple pull, that removes that. And all these clips are on squeezy tabs. So you pinch both sides of this one and it comes out. And this one's got a squeezy tab on the side here. Push them in and pull, and the whole lot should, although one hand is rather fun, come out. Yeah, you're a tough one here. There we go, just had to squeeze the tabs in with a, a little flat blade there just to pull it out. Pulled the aerial off as well. You're now free to remove the entire centre console section, like so. And what you're looking for is getting at these two screws. You see the brass screws, the gold ones? One here and one here. You need to remove both of those from each side. Okay, so with both screws removed and put safely to one side, uh, you can basically push the radio. There you go. Push it forward and it will completely... Oh, it's a bit stuck. There you go. Hold on. One-handed as usual. Very difficult. There you go. Your radio comes out, leaves you a nice hole. Now you are going to need the screws back again to put the new radio in. Okay, so it will line up with the new radio, depending what brand you're fitting on. The particular car we're fitting a Kenwood, and I'll show you that all plugged in and done, don't worry. At your radio from the box, yeah, it's going to come with a metal cage or frame around it. You've got to slide that off because you don't need it on this particular car. It's redundant. You mainly use this on European cars, etc. It's not needed. Put it back in the box for safety in case you keep the radio for the next car that you buy. You are going to need, though, the cable that comes with the radio, which simply plugs directly onto here. As such, click. There you go. That's on. Done. And you're going to need a little aerial adapter as well. Uh, the little aerial adapters are cheap and cheerful little stubby things, which look like this. All they do is quite literally there we go, plug straight in the end of there. Like I say, doing everything one-handed is always always fun and entertaining. So there you go. It would be a lot easier if you could click this in with both hands. But anyway, shove it in the end like so, and then that goes in the back of your radio here, yeah? And then your power cable into here. Now you've got to fit this in your plastic dashboard that you've taken off and you'll notice loads of holes in the side of it. Basically slide it in the aperture where you've took the old radio from and line up which holes align the front of the radio edge up with the front of the fascia that you've taken off. 
Now I'll show you what I mean with that. Right, so here we go, we're all lined up and in. So if you notice, the plastic edge there is flush with the where the original radio come from, yeah? So it's nice and nice and flush with the dash. And we're lined up two holes, so we've got, uh, we've used the screws that come with the radio, by the way. Most radios come with a little screw pack. The reason being, uh, the original screws, the brass ones like so, I've got a, a closed thread. Now they're not gonna screw into this, because obviously that's like a self-tapper type thing. You'll notice the screws that come with the radio, I've got a much wider thread for, for cutting into it, getting in there. So, um, yeah, don't use the brass ones if your radio has this type of hole. If it's got a threaded hole, then yes, use the ones that come with it. If not, use the uh, use the aftermarket screws. Just pop them in. You need all four in, really. Okay, so all the screws are in, and we've just quickly taped up the wiring to keep it nice and neat. You don't want anything getting snagged. We've plugged the power in, we've plugged the aerial in. The third connector there, that one, you leave that loose. That's just for the original steering wheel controls as such, which on this particular car, the, the, the owner of the radio and the car is not worried about that. So uh, we haven't got a steering wheel interface going into this car. If you did have a steering wheel interface, most likely it would plug into this. However, this one not being the case. Now you've got to do is lift the assembly complete with radio, back over the stalk controller now, be careful of that, we'll click that in now. Okay, so literally the reverse way of, if you took it out, lift it up and over there, slot it down, line your tabs up, push them all fully home so it's all nicely clicked in. When you've done that, don't put the screws back in yet, put your ignition on and test the radio, yeah, make sure you've actually got power and everything works, otherwise you're going to have to check your connections at the back, see if there's a loose one. And also tune in a radio station and store it on a preset, yeah, so just store that one and then turn your ignition off like so take the key out count to five pop your ignition back on again and make sure that radio preset comes back on it should do if you've used the correct wiring connector the one that come with the radio there we go so put your screws back in you've got one under here one under here and then you've got your ones in your cubby hole here and here put your little plastic caps back on and you're all done. That is how to quickly fit a radio in a 2007 Nissan Note. If you've got any questions at all regarding this or any car, it can be anything from a Ford Focus to a Bentley, yeah, literally. Pop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer you the same day. Thanks for watching and bye for now.